myself. But who knows? Who knows? Stranger things has happened. Um, like the uh, <laughs> the recent GSL finals, very recent. The one, the GSL finals had just finished like an hour ago. In fact, it was pretty crazy. I'm not gonna spoil that for anybody, of course. But uh, I recommend you check it out if you didn't catch that live. Okay, so here we go. Game number one of the third fourth place match at. The bottom right as the yellow Terran. We have Sock. Man, is everything zoomed out or am I just am I just freaking out here? So I've been doing a lot of uh like in-game obsing for TLS and whatnot. I haven't actually done an SSL one for a couple of weeks. Whoa, alright, alright, I'm getting freaked out here. I can't even control the camera. It's madness. Okay, so it looks like we've allied uh, the Terran here. You know, it's always interesting. See, Sonic always allies one of the players, so they're always yellow and red. And, uh, and I'm always interested to see, you know, which which race is he gonna ally? So clearly, he's gone He's gone for allying the Terran. So, you know, does that show some Terran bias? I don't know, because if you think back to when the players walked into the stadium, right? Uh, Hero had a star girl accompany him, and Sock had nobody. So, I don't know, we, you know, we've got, it's, it's one on one right now between Zerg and Terran Bias. I'm not really sure which way Sonic swings. You know what I'm saying? Maybe he's on the fence. I don't know. Maybe he's actually a Protoss fan, so he doesn't want to show favoritism to anybody. In which case, he's very reasonable, because, you know, if you're, if you're not a Protoss fan, uh, I don't know, there's probably something wrong. Oh, yeah, I've got, to, I've got to do my own overlay. All right, thank you. Thank you, Sir Keontae, for the reminder. Oh, this this observing this observing thing is just complicated, man. All right, hold on. I got this. I got it. All right, boom. See that? See that? Mm, all right, cool. Anyway, let's have a good old 12 hatch with a scout at the same time. Coming out for hero, very very standard. Uh, from him. Nothing crazy going on. I believe this map is wind and cloud, by the way. Um, but I have been wrong before many, many times. I think it's wind and cloud. I should probably open the handy dandy live report thread, which I'm sure everybody's posting it. Oh my god, he went for a 14 command center. Wow, suck! Suck! Dude! This is not, this is not cool, man. First game? In the best of five? Or is this the best of three now? I'm, I'm not sure if Sonic changed. It. it was supposed to be a best of five. I think it still is a best of five. But dang. Alright, going for the 14cc. This, this really does actually look zoomed out to me. This can't just be me. I think he might be using the, uh, the resolution hack to like have a zoomed out screen here. It's kind of freaking me out. Everything looks tiny. I'm, like looking at these SCVs, I'm like, how? Why is that so small? That's what she said. Oh, wow. I can't believe I'm making such jokes on the TL stream. <laughs> Him before banned. Oh, then I'll just be banned from everywhere. Banned from IC Cup, banned from TL. I don't even know what to do with my life anymore. Alright, looks like somebody, somebody's confirmed that it is in fact the resolution hack. It's like freaking me out here. I hope it doesn't mess me up too much. Anyways, anyways, okay, I've, I've just gone to the, uh, the lovely Lord Port thread that is in fact in the cloud. Um, just had to make sure. Wait, anyway, so Hero's gone for just a 3 hatch uh, standard thing. I mean, you know, having gone for the 12 hatch, there really isn't anything he can do to punish the 14cc. It's a little bit unfortunate. I mean, at least he scouted it fairly early. But all that really tells him is that, well, shit, now I'm behind. So, uh, so that's not ideal. Anyway, SCB guy poking around in the main base, gonna see not too much. Uh, so... <laughs> Looks like we are just gonna go into normal mid game. Hero, just spamming out the drones. He didn't even make any links yet. Uh, he might just make two or four to chase that SCB around. He doesn't really need to make all six. And he's not going for the lair. And I would assume that he will go for uh, three hatch meter. Because that is what everybody does. Although I think Hero went for a couple of uh, lurker builds against Haya though, if I remember correctly. Um, which at the time I thought was probably a good idea to just try and catch a uh, catch the Terran off guard because as I said in the beginning you know this is uh, this is his weakest matchup so doing something a little outside the box could be good but the, see the problem with lurker openings and the reason why uh, 
it's not as popular nowadays, is like Terran players now are so good at microing against lurkers, it's really, really hard to make them work. Uh, it's actually kind of the opposite of when you go 3 hatch meter. So when you go 3 hatch meter, you're relying on your own really good Muta Micro, you know, to do damage and keep the turn back and whatnot. Whereas if you go Lurkers, you're relying on the other player not having good Marine Micro, which is not, that's, you know, so... It's probably not a good idea against someone like Zok. And yeah, he hasn't built it in yet, it's gonna be Aspire, and the SMB's gonna scout it. So, uh... So, so here this build's kinda busted here. I'm a little bit surprised he allowed that, <coughs> that SCB to get in. Um, his, his links weren't quite in the best position. Even though he made all six links, he still allowed the SCB to get a full scout off, which is not ideal. In the meantime, it looks like uh, Sock going for a Firex here. I actually wasn't paying attention. I think he got the fast engineering bay for plus one. But I, I was just like busy talking about something else. Really. <laughs> was just not watching. But that's almost certainly what's happened since he has gone for the Firex. So, fast plus one attack. It's basically going to give him a substantial mid game army here. A lot of Medic Marine coming out very early. So, the 3 hatch muting player is going to be uh, pretty much on the defensive. There isn't going to be much opportunity for him to actually go harass Sox base. He's going to have to focus almost entirely on just whittling down the Marine force to keep himself alive. Because if he if he if he lets the marine force just walk across the map and, and goes for SCBs, he can just you know die straight up. And when you go for three edge meter, the point of the meter isn't to kill the Terran anyway. It's it's just to allow yourself to get the third base up safely, to get your tech up safely, um, while just you know harassing the opponent a little bit. So yeah, I'd imagine when these meters come out, Sock should uh, should move out just before they pop, so that the mutas are forced to engage the marines in the middle of the map. And you can see he is moving out exactly right as the mutas are making, because um, he wants to give himself a little bit of distance. He wants the mutas to to not to not go near his SCVs, and you know apart from that obviously him being good because he won't lose SCVs, it's also good because it means he can skimp on turrets. If he knows he's forcing the mutas back and, to, and playing defensively, uh, you can see in his natural mineral and he actually doesn't have a single turret right there and I imagine he doesn't have more than a couple of turrets in his main base either because you can see he's forcing the mutas to engage here outside on the map rather than at his base. He also uh, should have plus one on his range by now I think. Uh, or, or at least very soon. Uh, and it's like a few lanes coming in for Hero, not quite enough uh, lanes though, and oh man, he's committing with the Mutas. Big mistake here from Hero, I think. He needs to continue micro them. He did not have enough lanes, didn't have a good surface area to actually pull a move off like that. Uh, if you just A-move Mutas into Marines, you will just get completely shredded by the Marines. You need to do this kind of micro. Uh, the only time you really want to commit is if you have an overwhelming advantage and you have a lot of lanes on the ground supporting. And I think Hero really overestimated how much he had there, or I guess conversely underestimated uh, how many Marines are there. And of course, to be fair, there were some reinforcements that came in for Sok as well, which didn't help things. So Hero now, uh, really being pressed back by these Marines. I'm a little bit surprised. I mean, normally, you know, the, the plus one five racking player is being, you know, is supposed to be aggressive, but for him, for him to just be able to walk across the map like this, uh, fairly unscathed, is really bad for Hero right now. He's uh, he's going to make a, probably more sunkens than he was hoping to. Uh, he's only made two, actually, so he's actually not overly concerned. I think that might mean he dies, though. Uh, because his lurkers aren't finished yet, so you can see Sok is going for the kill right now. The lurkers aren't done. He's only got the mutas uh, still micro around. A few lanes coming in from the back, but with only two sunkens there, I don't see how he can hold this without lurkers. Yeah, he needed he needed at least you know two or three more sunkens there. Um, just way too greedy play from Hero. Which I think is kind of reminiscent of what happened in this week's SRT matches. I, I didn't actually see his matches this week, but Sonic actually hosted hosted like a mini tournament that Hero played in. And I think uh, again he just did not make enough defenses and just rolled over in that tournament as well. So not ideal. GG from Hero and Sock takes it fairly easily just with a big mid game attack. There didn't really have to do anything. Just Hero with some poor control on the mutas there. Some really greedy defense. Not uh, whoa, what does that mean there? <laughs> not uh, not making enough sunkens, and that was that. I mean, if he made look at the saw, he's like, oh, well, that was easy. I mean.